Hello, fabulous Cancer. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of March 2020, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. It is a huge astrological month without a doubt. And it isn't just about this month and how it fits into the context of this year, but it goes even beyond that. It goes further into this decade and even beyond that as well. And one of the big reasons is because of Saturn. Saturn will change signs, but it's just going to dip into a brand new part of the sky until July 1st before retrograding back into your opposite sign, before moving in more fully as we get into December. I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way. And of course, be on the lookout for Saturn special horoscopes coming up very soon. But I did want to give you a little bit of a heads up. It is important to watch what is happening for you at the very end of this month. And that is because Saturn and Mars will meet in the sky. And as they connect in the sky, this is going to awaken and activate in a very visceral way what this upcoming Saturn moving through a brand new part of the sky for you. Well, what is that going to mean? What issues are you going to be working on with this right into 2023? Well, all of that is going to come to the surface. So it is Saturn now moving into a part of the sky for you that has to do with profound and meaningful transformation and regeneration. It has to do with psychological change. Physical changes as well can be covered here. This also speaks to a deepening understanding of what it means for you to be authentically yourself, not motivated by other factors or other conditioning, but for you to decide who you are and live true to that. What work is involved? What acceptance is involved? What actions are involved? You are going to start to look at that more fully, but the journey that you're about to undertake starts now. This is a part of the sky that is also connected to your relationship with financial institutions and where it is that you are meant to maybe heal some issues around wealth or appreciate the wealth available to you. Well, that may show up for you at this time. You know what I always say, when we have such strong financial energy, it means that the money you need is there. So no worries there. But for some Cancerians out there, it may feel like you have to do a little bit more to show up for it, but the money you need is there. Be on the lookout. What lessons are showing up for you? What is stirring within your soul? Because this is just the beginning and it is a journey that will lead you in a direction that ultimately you'll be really grateful for because you are transforming on deep levels now. And what changes for you now ultimately will set you on a brand new pathway and a brand new direction well after this year is over. And what may feel so urgent and so on the surface will actually transform into huge blessings once we get you into December. So again, be on the lookout for Saturn special horoscopes. There's a lot to talk about there, but we've got other stuff happening this month as well. We have a super moon playing out right around the ninth of the month. Now this super moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with siblings, cousins, and neighbors. It is also connected to communication and conversations of all kinds. It's connected to synchronicity. Now there are some beautiful aspects playing out with this full moon. Jupiter speaking in supreme harmony, Pluto speaking in supreme harmony. This is luck. This is power as well. And so these are wonderfully supportive energies here. But what is also taking place is Neptune standing across the sky. So there might be an element of some mixed feelings. There may be an element of some disappointment, but it's ultimately one that you can accept and be excited about what is changing simultaneously. So it's okay to have mixed feelings, but know that things are changing for the better. So for some of you, this may very well play out in terms of one of these people I mentioned. Maybe there are changes happening in their lives. Maybe a neighbor that you really like is leaving, but you know that it's going to be really good for them or you know that ultimately can end up being good for you too. It may be that you are uh, getting some key communications and conversations right about now that are deeply meaningful to you that are in some way 
helping you to feel like the right people are a part of the picture ahead, that you're aligning with people in a meaningful way. But then Mercury is retrograde at this time as well, and it seems like a part of you is aware of that. At the same time though, there is a sense that you may be finding yourself with the right words and trying to figure out who's gonna hear them. It could also be though that you may get some media attention right about now, which uh, can be very lovely and it can help you in a lot of ways, but there may be some element there where you wish things were either said differently or presented a little bit differently. Now, regardless of what it is, remember that those beautiful alignments with Pluto and Jupiter say that what is changing now is putting you in a position of power putting you in a position of influence and your words are tremendously influential now. Now, as we navigate later into the month, right around the 24th is when we are going to have this month's new moon. This new moon is taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your career, your social standing, life purpose. Now we are going to have this new moon speaking in harmony with Saturn, newly in a brand new part of the sky. And so this tells me a few things. One is getting clear on your goals. Like what is it that you want to invest in the legacy that you're creating and the direction you wanna go in? And so sometimes the investment involves your time. That is absolutely one of the great resources that we do have. Sometimes the investment is with money, getting more focused with your money, realizing what's really worth putting your finances and your resources towards and maybe what isn't. But it's also about thinking big picture in a practical way as well. This beautiful alignment with Saturn encourages you to not only be practical, but to think about the larger consequence, to think about the big and long-term picture and to embrace whatever sacrifices you are realizing could actually work to your advantage. Because the sacrifices that you make today can actually put you in a position of greater power in the fullness of time. I like this energy for interviews, for auditions, uh, for promotions. So new career opportunities and pathways can show up but also where it is that you're wanting to make a change, maybe stepping into a new career path or maybe even just a new role. Well, it is gonna be Saturn that's gonna encourage you to take a more incremental approach to get you to where it is that you desire to go. So there is practical opportunity now, practical gains being made, but they also involve putting in time and putting in money also. There's also another way to understand this part of the sky, which speaks to life purpose. And sometimes the most powerful thing we can do to align with life purpose is to heal ourselves, to be more honest with ourselves, to realize where it is that a change is ready to be made and to embrace it, even when it seems hard, even when it seems like we are overcoming all kinds of uh, messaging in order to ultimately align with that which we hope for. It is gonna be now that you are reaching a deeper level of honesty as to what your purpose may be and what you really want to achieve and what meaningful success is gonna to mean to you. And you are setting your priorities straight so that you can align with it. And then the achievement, well, that is the natural outcome. Now, where it comes to matters of love, it is gonna be right around the fifth of the month that Venus will change signs and Venus will move into a friendship and social oriented part of the sky. I love this energy for you. In the first part of the month, Venus will meet Uranus. That'll bring a surprise a minute, but it is going to be as we navigate further into the month that Venus will connect in harmony with other power players in beautiful ways connecting with Jupiter, connecting with Pluto. There is so much passion here and a lot of fun too. So just outside of love, you are about to get a lot more social, connecting with a lot of people. There's an overall raise in happiness when Venus moves into this part of the sky. But in the context of love, it is friendship and love that intertwine right about now. So if you're open to meeting someone new, well, this does suggest that a friend could become more. 
uh, or that a friend introduces you to somebody uh, where it feels like there is a strong connection that can be playing out now. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, this can be a time when you become that much more interested to bring them into your social circle. Now in the first part of the month, what you realize about this person could be very make or break. It might surprise you, but if you manage to make it past the middle of the month, that's when we've got much more, uh, we've got this energy of depth an energy of commitment an energy of feeling a more deep bond with this person. Well, those are the types of energies that start to become more dominant as we navigate later into the month. For those of you who are in an established bond, I do really love the energy, especially in the second part of the month where you're feeling as if your partner is a part of the social things that you are doing and the ways in which you're enjoying your life and being out and about with others. But with this energy, there can also be this sense of wanting your partner to be more of a friend to you, wanting to nurture the genuine companionship and friendship that the two of you share, knowing that that is ultimately where the strongest love is nourished. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there is a lot here, right? It's a huge astrological month. As I started out by saying, it is uh, significant in the context of not just this year, but this decade as well. But even with that large sense of consequence, we do have these beautiful light moments, these expansive moments. And for you, I am going to say it comes down to that full moon that's happening in the first part of the month. That full moon speaks to your mind awakening. You have a lot to say and a lot to communicate now. And it's a good idea for you to find some time to actually explore what your unique voice is going to be. You're going to find yourself with plenty of words, plenty of expression, but also perhaps stumbling upon your unique vehicle that allows you to feel truly happy in being heard. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week, which is probably a really good idea with a very busy astrological month like this. Well, log on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.